Hi, in this video, I will be demonstrating to you how to perform test of association in our studio. Loosely speaking, anytime you want to find out if two variables are related in some way, whether you want to test the relationship using Pearson, Spearman, or Kendall correlation coefficient, you are testing for association. However, in this video, we will be focusing on the chi-square test for association. Tests of association are useful if you want to find a relationship between two categorical variables. From among the tests of association that you can choose from, chi-square test of association is the most common. Suppose you want to know if a specific sex, male or female, is more likely to be accepted as a manager. And suppose you want to know whether non-smokers are more likely to have lung cancer compared to smokers. Notice that in each scenario, your variables, sex, being accepted as a manager, which data are either yes or no, smokers and non-smokers, and having a lung cancer, which data are either yes or no, are all categorical variables. Let's discuss chi-square test of association. Also known as chi-squared test, this test is commonly used for testing relationships between categorical variables. The R function is given below. Chi-test function allows us to perform chi-squared test in our studio. This function accepts data in table form. The table function creates a contingency table for our data set. Object 1 contains the first categorical variable, whereas object 2 contains the second categorical variable. The assumptions of the test are the following. Each subject contributes data to only one cell. Therefore, the sum of all cell frequencies in the table must be the same as the number of subjects, participants, or respondents in the experiment or data gathering procedure. And no more than 20% of the expected counts are less than 5 and all individual expected counts are 1 or greater. These assumptions can be easily controlled when you plan your research design in your data gathering procedure. Now, let's perform a chi-squared test in our studio using the survey dataset available in the mass package. To view the data, we type library, open parentheses, mass. Make sure that everything is capitalized. Enter, view, open parentheses, survey. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. In this demonstration, we will use the smoke and exer column. The smoke column records the student's smoking habit while the exer column records their exercise level. The data associated with the smoke variable are heavy, regularly denoted by regul, occasionally denoted by ocas, and never. As for exer, the data associated with it are frequently denoted by frec, sum, and none. Suppose you want to test the hypothesis whether student smoking habit is associated with their exercise level at 0.05 significance level. Next, let's formulate the null and alternative hypothesis for this test. The null hypothesis is student smoking habit is not associated with their exercise level, whereas the alternative hypothesis is student smoking habit is associated with their exercise level. Then, we will perform chi-squared test in our studio. We type chi-test open parentheses table open parentheses survey dollar sign smoke comma survey dollar sign exer chi-test function allows us to perform chi-squared test in our studio table function allows us to create a table out of our data set survey dollar sign smoke argument indicates the first categorical variable whereas survey dollar sign exer argument 
indicates the second categorical variable. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. In the console window, we see the result. X squared, which is equal to 5.4885, is the test statistic. DF, which is equal to 6, is the degrees of freedom. And the p-value, which is equal to 0 0.4828, is the probability that you will get your data assuming that the null hypothesis is true. Therefore, since the p-value is greater than our significance level, which was set to 0 0.05, we failed to reject the null hypothesis. That is, there is no sufficient evidence to say that student smoking habit is associated with their exercise level. You exercise just as often, regardless of whether you smoke or not. You might notice that there is a warning message displayed in the console window. We can investigate this by looking at the table we generate for the dataset. We copy this table function and paste it here. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. We can see in the console window that there is only one heavy smoker who does not exercise and one regular smoker who does not exercise. These cells are the reason why we have the warning. We can fix this problem by combining entries. However, this result may be accepted for our analysis. That's it for our video and I hope you learned something. Thank you very much and have a great day.